Something that can really hurt the performance of your site is how you use images. They can be the largest resource on a website, so optimizing them can significantly improve your performance. The goal sounds simple. Provide the highest quality image with the smallest possible size that you need. This gives you faster network requests and a faster largest contentful paint. Recently, I've been trying out Cloudinary as a way to manage images. They hit me up, wanted to support the channel, and show off a lot of the cool work they're doing in the view space. And honestly, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Not only does it handle a lot of the image optimization without me having to think too hard about it, but it also lets you do some crazy image customizations directly from your code. From the asset management side, it has everything you'd expect from a well-known tool like this. It has a good UI for uploading and organizing your images and videos, it delivers through a CDN, there's versioning for assets, and you can even tag them. Plus, the way to my heart is there's a dedicated view SDK and even a Nux module. So in this video, we'll check it out and try building a little app that uses some of the cool transformation features. To start off, let's take a look at this basic Nux app. It doesn't have any modules installed yet. It just has this page that loads an image from the public folder. And this picture is just something I took on my phone and exported to a JPEG. If you look at the network tab, we can see that when the browser requests this image, it's got to download 6.4 megabytes worth of flowers. Even if we make the image smaller in the UI with CSS, the full size image still gets downloaded, so it's still the same size. Now, if we imagine that we have a ton of these images as thumbnails on our site, it's easy to see how this can absolutely tank your performance. Now let's try out Cloudinaire. We can go to the console, upload our image, and then edit some of its metadata like the public ID, which is used to access our image, and then give it some tags to help organize all of our files. Back in our Nux app, let's install the Nux Cloudinary module. This gives a couple components and composables that make working with Cloudinary smooth. The most commonly used component is CLD image that takes that public ID we set and renders out our image. So now in our app, we have that image from our public folder and the one from Cloudinary. And there's two cool things here. First, we can see that Cloudinary is serving our image as a WebP image. Cloudinary will deliver the image using the best format depending on the browser making the request. And second, because of all those optimizations, it's a lot smaller. But we can do even better. We can specify an exact width of our image and even manually change the compression settings using a quality prop to make the requested image even slimmer. So just like that, by making sure we're only requesting the image we need, we've reduced it from six megabytes to like 350 kilobytes. So when I was looking at this, the first question in my head was, isn't this what Nuxt image is for? And yeah, Nux image is great for optimizing images and even as cloudinary as provider that you can configure. So if you only need that image optimization, Nux image is still a valid option. But cloudinary has some more features that your project might need. It has that whole asset management side and UI, it supports videos, and the Nux module has built-in components specifically for videos and other components for building media galleries, handling OG images, media libraries, and even handling uploads, which is great for admin panels or user-generated content. But the one feature that makes cloudinary hit is image transformations. In Cloudinary, each piece of media is accessible through our URL. If we want to apply transformations like cropping, blurring, or even adding image effects, we can pass different parameters directly to the URL. This transformed image is then cached so it doesn't have to be recalculated on future requests. You can make these transformations manually in the UI, or what I find cooler is that you can do them on the fly programmatically. Using the Nux module makes this easy. We can pass our transformation as props, get that full type safety, and the CLD image component generates the URL for us. And there's a wild amount of transformations available that you should go and try for yourself. But as an example, we can crop it, change the saturation, blur just a section of our image, and even add overlays on top of our original asset. And here's the result. This can be helpful if you want to have a consistent style across multiple images, or you want to programmatically do things like add watermarks, where instead of being added on top of the image in CSS, it's actually added onto the image that gets downloaded, so the two are inseparable. Personally, I think some of the most fun ones are the AI effects like generative replace that honestly look pretty good. For example, if I wanted to make the sky in this picture a little more interesting, I can use the replace prop that takes an array where the first item is what I want to replace, and the second item is what I want to add in. So if we pass sky and clouds, this is what we'll get. So in addition to being good to work with for any of your sites that use images, one of the reasons I've been liking Cloudinary is it's fun to build little games with. So for example, something that's been all over my For You page recently is Rainbow GeoGuessr clips, especially the ones where he's guessing the random Canadian road based off like three pixels of dirt. And using the Cloudinary transformations, we can create something like a practice tool for this, where we go to Google Street View, take a bunch of screenshots, upload them to Cloudinary, and then apply transformations to have different difficulties. Like here's a version where all the images are hella pixelated, or another mode where every image is just deep fried, or even one where we use the AI replace to change the street into something like a river. With a Cloudinary Nux module, not only are these images going to be optimized and easy to access through the components, but transforming them is all done in a type safe way bypassing props. And if you want to see all the code for this, it's linked down below. So if you haven't tried out Cloudinary or the Nux module, it's definitely fun to take out for a spin and you can get a lot of experimenting done on the free tier. And also shout out to the Cloudinary team for sponsoring this video and letting me play around with some of their cool features. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.